Laura Sanko here with Invicta FC champion Tanya Evinger. Tanya, it's been a crazy couple months. Last time we saw you in the Invicta FC cage, a heartbreaking night. Talk for a second about the emotional roller coaster of that night, the appeal, and then the subsequent overturning. Um, obviously that night I was really upset. I was heartbroken. I was backstage freaking out a little bit. I think I uh, freaked out for that couple weeks waiting. Um, I got the appeal in as soon as I could, and, and um, commission did what was right, and I'm actually really happy about it because I, I also was an unbeliever that it was going to, like, get overturned. But, um, you know, I think it's uh, definitely something that needed to happen in the sport. I think that, um, like they said in many interviews, we made history, but, you know, I, I definitely would have liked to make history with 10 wins in a row and, and come off that fight uh, the champion still. And it, obviously I still am, but uh, in a different form. What's your mentality like coming into this fight, given that situation? I mean, you're someone who fights well, kind of with a chip on your shoulder. Is this an extra big chip, or is this just kind of another fight you're putting it behind you? I'm um, trying not to uh, take this fight, like, with too much stress, I'd say. Um, I don't know how to explain it. I think that um, I don't feel, like, in danger. I don't feel like it was something that um, she did, necessarily. I think that she was given that, that fight and uh, given that win, and, and obviously that's why I got a return. But... Um, you know, I'm just trying to take it as another fight and, and go back in there in the same, like, frame of mind and, and win the fight in a devastating fashion and do some more damage. And, you know, I, there's been a lot of shit talk. So I think that now I, like, I, I feel, I, I can't say different than any other fight, but I, I do want to, uh, like, hurt her a little more. Ooh. So that was actually going to be my next question. Have you, have you had any contact with her via social media or directly? What's been going on there? Um, no, I haven't personally had any contact, but obviously my fans love to relay the, the stuff that she's On your saying. behalf, of course, yeah, yes. And they love to talk on my behalf, too, <laughs> but, which is great. Um, no, uh, she's just said a lot of stuff, you know, I've done it once, I'll do it again. I think that, um, a lot of people have told me, like, where she's training, what she's doing. I, I personally don't give a shit. Um, I think that, uh, if you win one time... At a camp, you, you're really crazy to trade trade camps just to, like, go better yourself. You're winning. So, I mean, I think that that's a crazy thing that she did. But, you know, teach your own. And uh, I definitely think that she might be relying on her wrestling a little bit more. She might think that I'm going to take her down and, and it don't matter because they're just going to submit me. So, um, she got lucky that time. That's a position I'm in all the time. I get in that position and I get right out. And I'm in right side control where I like to beat people up. So, she can think whatever she wants. I'm just still going to do the same thing. So you've you've been in the cage with her. You've had your hands on her. You've had at least a little bit of cage time. How do you see this fight playing out, and how do you see yourself finishing her? Uh, this fight, I, I think that um, I'm going to be a little bit more calm. I'm not going to try to finish it right away. I think that uh, that's something I'm always doing is trying to finish a fight, but um, I don't think she can hurt me anywhere. So I'm going to drag it out a little bit longer and, and make her suffer and um, be a little bit more calm and a little bit uh, smarter about everything and just try to do as much damage as I can. And uh, I think it's going to go TKO like all the rest of them. I like it. Thank you so much for taking a second to talk with us. Don't miss Invicta FC 22 live here on Fight Pass.